Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're playing on the Age of Charlemagne DLC as the Byzantium Empire. Yes, guys, I have reforged it from the theme of Sicily. It happened in the last episode, so if you haven't gone and watched it, I recommend you do. Now, I have skipped a fair few turns ahead. We're going to be attacking Ireland in this part. My island, we currently have... Emperor Leo, Leo the Lionheart. We have his firstborn son, Scholacticus, and we have Martin as well. Now, I have skipped a couple of turns ahead, simply because after that war against Charlemagne, we made peace. We took the entirety of Northern Italy and reforged the Byzantine Empire. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be introducing it as the Byzantine Empire from now on. I won't rename it from the kingdom, the theme of Sicily, just because it's a, it might confuse some people. Haven't decided if I should rename the thumbnail, though. That might be alright. But, yeah, skipped a fair few turns ahead. Now, simply because a couple of interesting developments have happened. Now, I've noticed in Age of Charlemagne, a lot of, there are a lot of rebels. There are a lot of rebel settlements. And you guys know my thoughts and opinions on rebels. I don't like playing them, simply because you're not doing damage to a ma major faction. And most of the time you're going to come across settlements with no garris uh, no armies and just a really piss poor garrison and you're going to win 100% of the time so instead of spending the next four episodes fighting rebels and moving around the map i thought i'd just quickly skip that and then get to some exciting stuff and recap so as you see here we do have some settlements up in the north hellstadt frankfurt um and then down in modern day croatia as well so we're going to be attacking ireland in this part and hopefully can take the entirety of it. Now, let's recap the world and let's have a look at the major factions. Now, I did say I was going to go down and actually uh, fight the Emirate of Cordoba. God damn it. The Emirate of Cordoba uh, evades us again. What the hell? Look at his mask. That looks really cool. <laughs> his little nose is sticking out. Oh, God. But the Duchy of Provence is incredibly aggressive in this campaign. And have actually taken the entirety of Iberia. Brittany has taken the northern half, and then obviously the Franks have this triple way alliance with them. Um, who are they military kingdom? they got military allies. By bloody hell. Can I negotiate with Provence? No. I was just curious. Now, I do have a defensive alliance with the Duchy of Bavaria, obviously, in the eastern part of the map. We have our English alliances, the Kingdom of Mercia uh, and the Kingdom of Wessex. The Kingdom of Mercia has Scotland... Northumbria, Wessex has Wales. We could even go to war with the Kingdom of Kent. Obviously take Lynchfield and London. But at this point, I feel like if I declare war on Charlemagne again, the only way we manage to not go to war with Provence or Brittany is because I joined a, a cheeky war. I do have some Christian separatists here as well that I've made my puppet states. Uh, they were just separatists when I was pushing north to take some of these rebel territories. As you see, my kingdom sort of spread apart. I've just noticed, just noticed it in Age of Charlemagne. In my Mercia campaign, we were able to take most of modern-day Germany. That was all just rebels incredibly easily. But these Christian separatists kind of remind me of like a crusading faction or even like a Teutonic Order. I really do like the look of just the, uh, the logo and stuff. Maybe we could levy up some cool units. But I really do like the... Uh, the Christian separatists here. Maybe if they can forge their own little kingdom, but yeah. Obviously, the Byzantine Empire, we currently sit at our seat in Rome. I will, once the campaign's over, divvy up the kingdoms and maybe give out some lordships, but shame that the Pope has been killed, the papacy has been destroyed, and we're going to try and reforge the great Roman Empire. But uh, let's have a look at our family tree. We do have a new emperor in Leo. Constantine died. We have his firstborn son, Scholacticus. Uh, he does have a daughter, a bastard daughter. Martin, his secondborn son, with a cool uh, sort of face chain armor. And then his daughter, Massilia. Now, there aren't any women around that we can marry him off to, except for a, I think she's like 56 from Bavaria. I have looked around. Yeah, 56. Um, she's 18. Now, I want to keep... Uh, Massalia. Wait, what's her name? I thought it was... Massalia. I thought it was Massilia. I thought there was an I in there. Massalia. Oh, my apologies. No one corrected me anyway, so it's fine. But... Massalia. Massalia, not Massilia. Massalia. Obviously, named after the modern-day city, which is now Marseille. 
But uh, yeah, let's get into a battle. Let's start throwing this Irish back. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they band together and sort of, I don't know, try to throw back these Byzantine Roman invaders because there are three factions that occupy the south, the centre, and the northern. Uh, how's the kingdom of... What are the Danes doing? Yeah, the kingdom of the Vikings up in the north. I think these guys, the Nords here, had some princesses, but I don't really want to spread my genes and family member. Oh, oh we can offer her. All right. Um, yeah, I will just double check, but it looks like it's just mostly my daughter. Now, we do have a claim to England. Obviously, Leo married the daughter of King Offa and Scholastic Scholasticus and Martin are half English, so we do have a claim to those lands. But I want to build up enough power. We'll take the entirety of Ireland. We might even declare war on Kent, and then hopefully we can go to war with uh, Charlemagne, who he's just like... There's just so many sort of like rebel territories just everywhere, which is interesting but he's still alive you got to give that to him so let's get scholasticus to attack cork we'll go with a a amphibious attack we're going to bring our allies mercia the christian separatists and wessex they have joined with us against the kingdom of munster Obviously the bigger out of the three factions, so let's go straight in. I'm going to get my heir to attack. I want to get up his uh, command. Now, we do have imperial units now. I don't know if that was in the last episode or I needed to recap that. Anyway, my normal um, spearmen are now imperials, which is quite cool. We've got, obviously, in the main host, in the Emperor's army, the Varangian Guard and the Cataphractoi. Large Onager and Cairo Ballista, which we recapped in the last episode. So, we're going to attack Cork here. Five units in total. Uh, Scanned Lun. We're going to take Cork with quite ease because the Kingdom of Munster have two full stacks in the north. So, mind you, I'm positive that the Irish here were 100%. Not expecting a, an invasion from the Byzantines, <laughs> who were all the way down in fucking Italy. Oh, I do feel bad for them. Yes. Somewhat. Not really. Right. Okay, let's push up. Um, do we push up to the bridge here? Returning to Once we've land. disembarked. So, what's the way? Yeah, so there's a bridge here. We're going to go in our fort position and we'll disembark with this other army as well. Martin can't quite get there though. Is there anywhere where I can deploy Martin that I can put him in a fort? Returning to shore. Oh yeah, we can. It's bang on halfway, which is uh, interesting. Right, um have three lots of spies here as well. I do have another army uh in the Alps here with John, just in case uh, Charlemagne, the Kingdom of the Franks, declare war on me. We do have a smaller army down near Benevento, and we do have another army at Palma, just to sort of protect my empire. The thing is, like, because Northern Africa is not in here, like, Syracuse, my capital, is pretty well protected. Like, not, we're not going to get attacked from our southern, our eastern, and to extent our northeast border because of uh, Benevento. But, uh, yeah, I'll be interested to see what sort of armies they're fielding with this. But we'll end the turn, and we'll continue our conquest of Ireland. So we'll go with authority, and with that, I want to st I also, also get my heir's influence up a lot more, so I can uh, marry him off. The quicker I can marry them off, the better. Oh, I also had an assassination attempt. I did, which I forgot to mention. The Emirate of Cordoba has been destroyed. Interesting. Ah, uh, Martin's had a bastard son. An unfortunate injury. God damn it. Um, I've been trying to get rid of these guys because they have 500 influence, 600 influence. I've been just trying to knock them off because... Yeah, as you see here, 38%. 50% control. Yeah, which is not good. Um, but Martin's had a bastard. That's interesting. 
Okay. Um, right. Looks like Charlemagne's pushed up an army into my lands. Now, does Charlemagne still hate me after that war? I did manage to get peace with him. We do have a non-aggressional pact. Who can I arrange him to? I can marry my daughter off to Charlemagne. Are you for real? 59 years of age. Yeah. I just hope now that we're away fighting this war that we don't get attacked. That would be typical. I'm going to build a church. But a look... Oh, for fuck's sake. Have they, have they run off? Have they tried to double back at Dublin or something? We'll get Leo the line up to attack. Um, actually, I do want the air to attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the siege. I will move the prince. Um, should we leave this other army here at Cork? I don't see why not. So we'll get the prince to attack. Get his influence up a little bit more. So we can get him wed. So they have sort of split up a bit. Right, so what can we get here? Okay, that's interesting. So we can get more military. So we've got a, we got a barracks and we... Uh, sorry, like a muster hall. Siege engineer. Awesome. Tribunal. And more Imperium. Well, I might actually try and intercept them. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall them down further here because if I go here, we might actually fight them. I do want to have a get a battle against these Irish. I forgot to do these skills for him. My mistake. I wonder what Mercy is doing. They might even attack Dublin. Maybe I shouldn't have drawn my allies. Okay, good. An unfortunate death. The sex, the what? <laughs> the successful assassination of one tack. We killed Theodore. Political assassination. So that's helped. Forty-eight percent, twenty-four dominion. I just need to get rid of these family members. Um, I have a couple of... Actually, I have a way we can do that. I can replace the general and then just charge him into the the enemy lines. Because these guys' influence are too high. Now, it wasn't too bad at the start of the campaign because I had Constantine who was superb. But my family tree isn't big enough. I don't particularly want to adopt anyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that assassination. I'm going to... Maybe we should just assassinate John here as well. But 600, that's huge. We'll get Theo here. We're going to swap Theo with the king. The emperor, sorry. I'm going to say the king a lot. Now we should... Oh, there's a river crossing. Oh, you fucking scumbag. Okay, we'll move the prince further up because I want to fight that other army. We'll move Martin. Uh, we'll repair this. A food market. I'm trying to think. Maybe we should get like a blacksmith there. We'll make Munster a military building. I want to fight this army on the field. Right. The prince has gone up in stats even more. We'll go with more authority and then unit. And then we'll go with the motivator and the tactician. Right. We'll try to get a battle in this part. Against the Irish. Alright. Uh, no. I will not be marrying my daughter to another English king. Oh, they took Dublin. Oh, for fuck's sake. And what's this shit now? Your ally is under attack and calls for your help. The Irish have attacked Mercia. Um, yeah. I was like, these guys. Um, enter... Oh, I shouldn't have called them. I should not have called them. I should not have said that. I should not have said that. <laughs> Fucking Hagrid. Um, yeah, we're going to enter war on allies' side, of course. Oh, good. They took... Oh, that's okay. Oh, good on Irish, you cheeky bastards. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't even realize um, what I've gone and done here. I have given my best army to a, uh, to a general whose his loyalty is wavering quite significantly. So we need to get stuck into this battle, or otherwise shit's going to hit the fan uh, quite quickly. I could put it into a forced march. That will get us in range, and then attack with my other army. Will we be in range 
anyway. No, we're going to be by about a buck and bee's dick. Um, right, we can attack with this army, can we? Oh, far out. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is, after I've assassinate, tried to assassinate you, mate, I'm going to secure your loyalty real quick. If we... Oh, my God, this is so fucked. Um... Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I can't afford to give him that. So what we're going to have to... We're going to have to stop, take a breather. We're going to kick him out because I don't want a rebellion or any other bullshit. So we'll put the king back, right? That was just one way to do it. Um, so stop that for a sec. We'll try re-assassinate him again. <laughs> Even though his loyalty is wavering. Um... What have I gone and done here? Oh my god. <sighs> I think I went and put him in the wrong army. God damn it. Let's just cross our fingers and hope we don't get a civil war. Because that would be... And then losing that army, my best army, that would be the fucking... Oh, God. Stupid, stupid. Simpsy. I can kick him out and then pull someone else in. Like the other bloke I'm trying to fucking knock off. That'll be alright. At least his loyalty isn't as bad. He's on nine. Yeah, I still think we should try and assassinate him. Right, let's end the turn. Come on, Irish. Stop running, you. Stop running away. I want to fight you. But we got drawn into a war with the other blokes. Oh, uh, they want a peace treaty. Oh, uh, no. It's going to be my island when we're finished with it. An unfortunate injury. My domination's going down, of course. Because we just can't seem to kill these guys. And I think assassinating's making it even worse. It's just making Leo, Emperor Leo, just a bit of a shit person, I think. So what I'm going to have to do is... Also, a lot of fucking rivers in Ireland. So we'll turtle up here. Yeah, just crossing the river like instantly there is not good. Um, right, we'll kick. We'll put the prince back in. Right. Man, <laughs> stressful. Just me being stupid, to be honest. Um, I thought we could get a blacksmith here. It doesn't look like it. So we'll probably just go with public order. Plus one experience for cavalry units recruited here. That's just fine. Right, how's sort of everyone else going? I do have an assassin here. I wouldn't actually mind sort of just practicing. Now, I did have my spies practicing at the rebels sort of just to... Uh, level up a bit. So here's Charlemagne. That's interesting. So they've got five stacks in quite a close area. Okay. Alright, let's end the turn once more. It is winter, so that slowed us down. I want to get a battle in today's part. I'm, I, will, I will get one. Just a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? These guys are 60 as well. Like, come on. Are their loyalty still wavering? Two. Right. Um, my prince can get married off. Now, I will just double check. Yeah. It doesn't really look like there's many other princesses about. I wish you could see other people's family trees. That would be incredibly helpful. I imagine it might be a little bit intensive, though. Right, so we'll just get my... My prince now to go seek a wife. I might start getting Martin to look for some... Sh uh, shit, I was about to say. Some women. Right, we'll try assassinate Charlemagne. That would be cool. A 43% positive outcome. Are you serious? Failure. We're not at war with them now, are we? After that assassination attempt? No. 
Right, let's go back to Ireland and get a battle. Wow, Wessex are moving their armies over. That's cool. Alright, let's push down into Dublin. So it doesn't look like they're sort of turtling a bit. But it's just the amount of just rivers and stuff that are here. Research rate faction wide. But we've taken the bottom half of Ireland, which is cool. I might push over and take Kent. Get Canterbury, London. That'd be cool. Um. Oh, rejection. Are you serious? The prince can't find anyone. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? We'll try again, then. Oh, my... Are you serious? Are they running off again? No, they've swung around. I don't really know why the AI does that. Right, but now we're going to be able to fight Dublin. I'm going to be able to kill my... My two grumpy old 60-year-old bastards that have over a thousand influence. So what we're going to do now is... I'm assuming we can kick them out. And then... We'll just quickly swap them here, yeah? We'll kill both of them. We should be able to attack, yep. So they've teleported, of course. <laughs> uh, what's my better army here? So we'll attack Dublin. We'll push this other army in. We'll just suicide. I doubt that... 5,000... That 5,000 men loyal to the Byzantian Empire are going to... Uh, are going to rout when two of my generals fall. If they do, that would be terrible. But uh, it's going to be difficult trying to kill my general. It's pissing down with rain. Because we do they are actually a pretty good general unit. So what we'll do is we'll just fall you back. We'll fall the cataphractoid back. The onigas back as well. We'll get them to toggle off fire at will, same with my archers. Pull you back. But yeah, we'll suicide the general in. I might, yeah, but here he is. He's a pretty cool looking general. It's just that he's 60 years old. He's gonna die soon. I really do like the armor. So I'll quickly just speed things up, suicide him in. He's probably actually going to cause an alright charge here. 160 before the initial charge. I'm just curious to see how many we're going to lose. So how many did we kill with uh, that charge? Five, okay. Right, where's my other army coming from? Okay, well, I might just chuck my other army behind there and then just fall this old bastard in here. Should I now... Just dismount him. And then get him to just, like, run. So, just just run. Just go, go, go. Don't even attack. Just run. Where's my other general coming from? School 17, 13. Come on, just... Have we killed him? Our general has fallen. Perfect. Let's start speeding up this bullshit. To suicide these generals, obviously, it's not entirely realistic, but we've had four assassination attempts and it hasn't worked. Here come the cavalry. <laughs> Alright, are they going to try charges? Don't. Don't do it. Fall back! Everyone, fall back! I'm giving you the opportunity to kill you... to kill my generals.
Come on. I don't think we killed him though. I think I didn't quite. Oh. Ten. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's broken. And we're gonna get fucked here if we're not careful. Yeah. So let's finish this off. Oh god. Quickly throw everyone over there. Don't get my archers to shoot though. I don't want to lose this large onager. Which I think we might. Oh god. Fuck, if we lost that large onager. Which we might have. Alright, let's throw everyone in now. Might be able to get some cool cinematic shots in this. Oh, let's start speeding things up. But we killed one out of the two. Oh wow, that's a cool charge. A lot more cinematic sort of stuff in this. For the Byzantine Empire. For Constantine. For Leo the Lionheart. And for Scholacticus. <laughs> Alright, let's start speeding this bullshit up. Uh, units routed. These marines do hold on a lot better. Right, let's get the cavalry. Just to run them down. How many men have we lost in this? 400, are you serious? Alright, we've won. Decisive victory. We deployed 5,120, we lost 300, yeah, obviously 160 of them were the general, but we killed the enemy ally, did we kill both of them? We can actually subjugate, we're going to occupy Dublin of course. Yes, we did, we killed both of them. Um, because... The prince and the other bloke, the prince and the emperor are in like sort of transition. We're gonna have to get Benedict and John here, but that's obviously helped our influence. Yeah, gonna end it here. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Stay tuned for more content on uh, Simpsy Total War. Goodbye.